What's up guys and welcome to the first ever tutorial of programming in network slash protocols and in this tutorial we are using netkit in the previous tutorial I showed you how to configure your netkit and in this tutorial it's all about how to create a network or netkit virtual machine start and stop the Apache web server so without further ado let us start the video okay ls minus cell cd ctech 2701 slash protocols slash week one nothing in there at the minute but don't worry we are starting the first virtual machine so v start pc1 but before we do that we have to configure the net kit in, in, a, in order for it to work so I'm going to change directory all over again I already have them all saved in memory so okay Okay, that's all done. Okay, V start PC one. There it is. setting the kernel, configuring the network interface. Okay, this command starts a virtual machine called PC1. In the next term window, the name of the virtual machine just could be anything. The Apache web server is pre-installed. Website files in the VM are stored at slash var www. However, the netkit lab has no GUI interface and without administration rights to host the system, there is no access from outside the VM. From this step on, we should now be just typing in PC VM window. So we need to use the PS command to show the server, the grep Apache 2. Okay. So go here and now type PS minus EAF hyphen grep. Apache 2 Okay Start the server with the following commands that I'm about to type etc init.d slash Apache 2 start The telnet command can now be used to check that the web server is behaving correctly by requesting the default web page index.html. So using telnet 127.00.180. Okay, this tells the machine to use telnet application to access the local host on port 80 assuming that the web server is running you will get the reply that's the reply that we got now press enter a couple of times one two get slash http 1.0 enter there you go now we will see the HTML code of the index.html page 
change into the host home directory and list the directory with the ls command. Okay, cd. Host home ls minus l. Okay, that's all we got. You will notice that this year your home directory on the host is your home directory on the host. Therefore, any file that is in the directory is accessible within the virtual machine. To stop the web server, do this etc init dot d apache okay we have stopped it if we need to we can restart it with etc in it Apache you know restart but we needn't go into that or do that the update B command will create a database of all the files in PC1 it will take a few moments to complete when ready use the locate command to find Apache 2 files okay update B updated B This will take some time. Locate. Okay. ls minus so notice the file on the disk extension especially the size of the file you must remember to ensure that the file is always deleted because it's 10 gig of memory okay v crush if i go into cd ctech 27 protocols week one Okay, there is a PC disk that's 10 gig in size. I'll show you why. Or oh, I will delete it. Okay, vcrash. PC1. Okay, get rid of this. CD. I put vcrash in the wrong thing. V crash here. You crush it from there. Okay, so killed off. We've done the first lab of how to use NetKit. So I'm going to clear this. CD. Now I'll go into CTEC two seven and one protocols week one properties. This is a massive file, ten gig. Move this to the trash can. Move to the rubbish bin. Go here. Empty this garbage. Yes, empty of course. Close this. Okay, that's it for this lab. So we showed you how to use NetKit, stop and start the Apache web server. That's it really. All right guys, I'll see you in lab two. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Bye for now.